The ohm is the SI-derived unit of electrical resistance, named after German physicist Georg Simon Ohm. Although several empirically derived standard units for expressing electrical resistance were developed in connection with early telegraphy practice, the British Association for the Advancement of Science proposed a unit derived from existing units of mass length and time and of a convenient size for practical work as early as 1861. The definition of the ohm was revised several times. Today the definition of the ohm is expressed from the quantum Hall effect. Definition The ohm is defined as an electrical resistance between two points of a conductor when a constant potential difference of one volt, applied to these points, produces in the conductor a current of one ampere, the conductor not being the seat of any electromotive force in which the following units appear, volt, ampere, siemens, watt, second, farad, joule, kilogram, meter, and coulomb. These are called linear resistors. In other cases resistance varies. Commonly used multiples and submultiples in electrical and electronic usage are the micro-ohm, milli-ohm, kilo-ohm, mega-ohm, and giga-ohm. The term, gigohm, though not official, is in common use for the latter. In alternating current circuits, electrical impedance is also measured in ohms. Conversions The Siemens is the SI-derived unit of electric conductance and admittance, also known as the MHO. It is the reciprocal of resistance in ohms. Power is a function of resistance. The power dissipated by a resistor may be calculated from its resistance and the voltage or current involved. The formula is a combination of Ohm's law and Joule's law, where P equals power in watts R equals resistance in Ohm's V equals voltage across the resistor I equals current through the resistor in amps A linear resistor has a constant resistance value over all applied voltages or currents. Many practical resistors are linear over a useful range of currents. Nonlinear resistors have a value that may vary depending on the applied voltage, where alternating current is applied to the circuit. The relation above is true at any instant but calculation of average power over an interval of time will require integration of instantaneous power over that interval. History The rapid rise of electrotechnology in the last half of the 19th century created a demand for a rational, coherent, consistent, and international system of units for electrical quantities. Telegraph is another early uses of electricity in the 19th century needed a practical standard unit of measurement for resistance. Resistance was often expressed as a multiple of the resistance of a standard length of telegraph wires. Different agencies used different bases for a standard, so units were not readily interchangeable. Electrical units so defined were not a coherent system with the units for energy, mass, length, and time requiring conversion factors to be used in calculations relating energy or power to resistance. Two different methods of establishing a system of electrical units can be chosen. Various artifacts, such as a length of wire or a standard electrochemical cell, could be specified as producing defined quantities for resistance voltage, and so on. Alternatively, the electrical units can be related to the mechanical units by defining, for example, a unit of current that gives a specified force between two wires, or a unit of charge that gives a unit of force between two unit charges. This latter method ensures coherence with the units of energy. Defining a unit for resistance that is coherent with units of energy and time in effect also requires defining units for potential and current. It is desirable that one unit of electrical potential will force one unit of electric current through one unit of electrical resistance, doing one unit of work in one unit of time, otherwise all electrical calculations will require conversion factors. Since so-called absolute units of charge and current are expressed as combinations of units of mass, length, and time, dimensional analysis of the relations between potential, current and resistance show that resistance is expressed in units of length per time, a velocity, 
Some early definitions of a unit of resistance, for example, defined a unit resistance as one quadrant of the Earth per second. Absolute unit system related magnetic and electrostatic quantities to metric base units of mass, time, and length. These units had the great advantage of simplifying the equations used in the solution of electromagnetic problems and eliminated conversion factors in calculations about electrical quantities. However, the CGS units turned out to have impractical sizes for practical measurements. Various artifact standards were proposed as the definition of the unit of resistance. In 1861 a Siemens published a suggestion for a reproducible resistance standard in Poggendorf's Annalen der Physik und Chemie. He proposed a column of pure mercury, of one square millimeter cross-section, one meter long, Siemens mercury unit. However, this unit was not coherent with other units. One proposal was to devise a unit based on a mercury column that would be coherent, in effect, adjusting the length to make the resistance 1 ohm. Not all users of units had the resources to carry out metrology experiments to the required precision. So working standards notionally based on the physical definition were required. In 1861, Latimer Clark and Sir Charles Bright presented a paper at the British Association for the Advancement of Science meeting suggesting that standards for electrical units be established and suggesting names for these units derived from eminent philosophers, Omer, Farid, and Volt. The Bars in 1861 appointed a committee including Maxwell and Thomson to report upon standards of electrical resistance. Their objectives were to devise a unit that was of convenient size, part of a complete system for electrical measurements, coherent with the units for energy, stable, reproducible and based on the French metrical system. In the third report of the committee, 1864, the resistance unit is referred to as BA, unit, or OMAD. By 1867 the unit is referred to as simply OM, the BA. Ohm was intended to be 109 CGS units but owing to an error in calculations the definition was 1.3% too small. The error was significant for preparation of working standards. On September 21, 1881 the Congress International d'Electricians defined a practical unit of Ohm for the resistance based on CGS units. Using a mercury column at zero deg Celsius, similar to the apparatus suggested by Siemens, a legal ohm, a reproducible standard, was defined by the International Conference of Electricians at Paris in 1884 as the resistance of a mercury column of specified weight in 106 centimeters long. This was a compromise value between the B, A, unit, the Siemens unit, and the CGS unit. Although called legal, this standard was not adopted by any national legislation. The international ohm was defined as a mercury column 106.3 cm long of mass 14.4521 g and 0 degrees Celsius at the International Electrical Conference 1893 in Chicago. This definition became the basis for the legal definition of the ohm in several countries. In 1908, the next electrical conference confirmed this definition. The mercury column standard was maintained until the 1948 General Conference on Weights and Measures, at which the ohm was redefined in absolute terms instead of as an artifact standard. By the end of the 19th century, units were well understood and consistent. Definitions would change with little effect on commercial uses of the units. Advances in metrology allowed definitions to be formulated with a high degree of precision and repeatability. Historical units of resistance realization of standards. The mercury column method of realizing a physical standard ohm turned out to be difficult to reproduce. Owing to the effects of non-constant cross-section of the glass tubing, various resistance coils were constructed by the British Association and others to serve as physical artifact standards for the unit of resistance. 
The long-term stability and reproducibility of these artifacts was an ongoing field of research, as the effects of temperature, air pressure, humidity, and time on the standards were detected and analyzed. Artifact standards are still used, but metrology experiments relating accurately dimensioned inductors and capacitors provided a more fundamental basis for the definition of the ohm. Since 1990 the quantum Hall effect has been used to define the ohm with high precision and repeatability. The quantum Hall experiments are used to check the stability of working standards that have convenient values for comparison. Symbol. When preparing electronic documents, some document editing software applications have used the symbol typeface to render the character Omega. Where the font is not supported, AW is displayed instead. As W represents the watt, the SI unit of power, this can lead to confusion. In the electronics industry it is common to use the character R instead of the Omega symbol, thus, a 10 ohms resistor may be represented as 10 R. This is the British standard BS 1852 code. It is used in many instances where the value has a decimal place. For example, 5.6 ohms is listed as 5 R6. This method avoids overlooking the decimal period, which may not be rendered reliably on components or when duplicating documents. In documents printed before World War II the unit symbol often consisted of the raised lowercase omega, such that 56 ohms was written as 56 omega. Unicode encodes the symbol as U plus 2126 ohms ohm sign, distinct from Greek omega among letter-like symbols but it is only included for backwards compatibility in the Greek uppercase omega character U plus 03A9 ohms Greek capital letter omega is preferred. In DOS and Windows, the alt code all 234 may produce the omega symbol. In Mac OS, opt plus Z is the same.